All right, guys. As you can tell by the description of this video, it's not a review or anything. It's just an update. Now, I did the review for the EH Pro and Vapor Movic Project um, Calpi RTA, and I had that under testing for a week, week and a half ish, maybe a little longer, and not really had any problems with it. Recently, and I don't know if it's the O-rings or not, recently it's just been absolute pissing out with juice. Now, this isn't a bashing of Vaping with Vic, it's not a bashing with EH Pro, anything like that. It's just basically an update on that review. Now, I've tried different coils, my own coils, Chris Grimes' coils, many other people's coils, which I'm not going to name drop because obviously I'm not going to. And I've tried different cottons, Muji, Swag, Cotton Bacon, Cotton Bacon Prime, all different cottons, everything. I'm thinking, oh, it's not wicked right, it's not cold right, this, that, and else. And for me, it's been fine. I've not had dry hits or anything. But recently, over the last, I'd say, four or five days, I've noticed, even just sitting on top. Now, the tank on the, where, the, where the airflow is, and around is bone dry but underneath it's starting to leak now I've literally just wiped that before I've, I've come on camera I'll just wipe it again there you go there's not really a ring on there or anything like that just so you know I use my top so I've dried the bottom and the 510 and all that lot Put it back on and literally this is this is why i'm making the update video I, I think vic needs to know honest opinions as well and i think vic will appreciate honest opinions now i'm only running at 0.39 on ohms 45 watt okay we're going to focus in and literally after two three pulls somehow underneath gets wet As I said, I've had no problems with the tank when I was testing it for reviews or anything like that. No problems whatsoever. There's three pulls. Now, I can already see on the side, and people say, oh, it's just because you're purging this, that, and else. Okay, if it's because I'm purging, then how come it's not lined up with the airflow? Now, I'm literally taking this off. And it's literally, you can, that's not down to purging, but the 510 as well, in the actual, in that bit, is wet. What I have noticed, the 510 screw, I'm going to focus in, focus in you little bastard, the 510 screw, after a while, just does come loose. Now, I've tightened this up several times and didn't think much of it. But on under inspection, if you take the 510 out, there's like a... Um, what's it called? It's not an O-ring per se. It's like a, the, the insulator. There's juice literally all over the insulator. So I don't know if there's a problem with the deck. Or there's a problem with the 510, but it's leaking from the 510. It's not leaking from the airflow. Literally, the airflow isn't lined up to where it's been purging. I've literally just wiped it again. And I found this mistake literally half 10, 11 o'clock at night. I literally tipped and to have a vape, obviously. And I was being lazy. I was on the sofa watching some shit on TV. And I've felt a drip on my chest well on my t-shirt and all around the fire button was soaking so i took the tank off wiped it this afternoon else literally put tissue in the airflow a little bit of moisture that's to be expected but around the 510 and in the 510 on the mod was wet soaking wet See, I'm trying to do this without purging. Don't get me wrong. 
fantastic tank fantastic flavor easy to build and like i said in my review everything is cracking with this tank it's just i'm having this leakage problem from the 510 itself i don't know if anybody else is having this problem if you are put, put it in the comments below and by all means as i said this isn't bashing vaping with vic it's not bashing eh pro it's just an update of that review just in case there's other people out there that are having similar problems and are going to slate See, I, and I didn't purge whatsoever, and I can see already. It's starting to go around. Now, you can say that's from purging this and everything else. But again, the 510. Fresh bit of cotton going straight down the 510. Now, I cleaned this before turning the camera on and everything. And I've cleaned the threads and everything. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. But it's constantly wet down below. There's, I, I, I don't know how, because I, I keep cleaning the 510. Constantly cleaning it. Cleaning the 510 on the mod, cleaning the 510 on the RTA. Now, as I said, and I know people are going to say, oh, you're only doing this because you're bashing Vic. I'm not bashing Vic, I'm not bashing no one. And I have to stress that enough. It's not Vic's fault. He only designed it. What I'm thinking, when, you can see the drops already, and I've literally just gone to put that back on. What I'm thinking is either the 510 itself, there's something not lined up with the 510, or it's the O-ring in the airflow, and it's leaking from the actual airflow ring itself. But, as I said, this is just an update, a quick update. Now, don't be put off by it. It could be just a flaw in one or two. I don't know. But I'm still going to stand by my original review and say go out and get one because it is such a great RTA. And I'm not blowing smoke up Vic's ass or anything like that. It is a great RTA. But it's just an update. I, I want to put the video out there because I'm, I'm not 100% comfortable with that. And I think people should know about it. And I think Vic will appreciate this going up because... It's not all seen as blowing smoke at Vic's house because he's the gaffer of the vape scene in the UK or anything like that. It's me being honest as always. But yeah, I've been TBD. Till the next one, take it easy.